So here we are at the start of our Lightroom and Photoshop journey and the first thing we're going to do is set up a folder on the computer in which you will store all of your photos and this is a really really important step. So pick a, a place to store it on your computer. I use Windows um, and so Windows comes pre-installed with a folder called Pictures. Uh, that's just a sensible place to put it. Wouldn't need to be there. You put it wherever you want. But wherever you decide to put it then create a folder which you're going to recognize in the future and I call it my Lightroom photos you could call it John's Lightroom photos or Anne's Lightroom photos but it's very important that it's a folder that you can recognize um, and if you double click on this you will see in here are three years worth of photos now the reason that it's important that you have this folder is because in future you will know exactly where to back up all your photos to keep a safe copy of them to an external hard drive and also if you decide to upgrade your computer you will know exactly which folder to pick up and move to the new computer and have all your photos on it so if we double click on it and go inside you can see it's organized by year and don't worry about how that happens Lightroom does all this for you um, and then by date I store three years on this hard drive further back than that on an external hard drive and if we click on 2019 uh, you can see again it's all stored by month and day of the month and again Lightroom does all this for you so don't worry about it and if we click on any particular uh, day if I click on February the 28th um, these were the, these were the photos I took on February the 28th and this happens to be when I was swimming with the manatees in Florida so that's a really important first step uh, is setting up this folder that forevermore you will now store your photos in so now let's open Lightroom and here's Lightroom and when you first open it it won't have these things down this side but I'll tell you how to set up all those in a minute or two so the first thing you're going to do is import some photos so we'll click import and wait for Lightroom to wake up and now we now need and the import uh, box comes up like this and Lightroom very helpfully says please select a source so we now need to tell Lightroom where to look for the photos that we want to import now if you've connected a card reader to your computer uh, and you put the card your camera card into the card reader Lightroom will automatically recognize that and you won't have to tell it where to look it will automatically come up and it will know uh, it will automatically show you those photos so it's very easy but for the purpose of this exercise um, I'm going to get it to load some photos that are on the desktop so I'm going to look for those that the folder so I'll go to my desktop and I happen to know it's called whitewater canoeing I click on that and Lightroom goes away and it's going to have a look and there it goes it's found all these photos called whitewater canoeing so if you'd have plugged a card reader in it would be looking at the photos on your card now some really important steps so this is telling Lightroom where to pick the photos up from that was what we did down this side and if you would got a card reader it would be showing the card reader here and this is the really important step this tells Lightroom where you want to store the photos on your computer that Lightroom will be able to find them in the future and if we click on that no surprises for guessing where we're going to store them we're going to store them exactly where the folder we've just set up now obviously I've imported before so it already has the path set up here um, but if it hadn't then what we would do is we would just click other destinations and we would direct it to the folder that we we want to store the photos which is, I've called my Lightroom photos and it's called select folder so now we've told it where to fetch the photos from and as I say don't worry if you've got a card reader it automatically recognizes that and we've told it where to put them in my Lightroom photos and the next thing we need to tell it is to do is whether to copy it and convert it to what's called a DNG which you do not want to do that's Adobe's native file format 
um, it becomes a problem if you enter photos in a competition and they ask to see the master because they want to see a raw file, a master raw file, and some competition um, don't accept a DNG. So you want that one selected, copy. Okay, so what we've done is we've told Lightroom to copy photos from here, copy them to this destination here. Okay, now we need to tell it what kind of file structure to use for us. And we do that here in this box here, destination. And we tell, if you follow my way of doing it, um, I organize them by date because that's the most sensible way for me to be able to, if ever I did need to look back. And I say organize it by date, but there are other ways to do it. But I choose by date. And then I, you have to tell it what order to do it. So if you remember when we looked on my folder, it was in the order of year, month, day. But you can have it different ways around. Look, you can have it the American way and so on and so forth. But I stick to one, which is year, month, day. So now we have told Lightroom, copy from here to here and set up folders by date and by month and by date in that month. Here is where we would add keywords. So I would put here white water canoeing. And that's useful um, if in the future we want to search for photos. So every photo that goes in will have that keyword and Lightroom gives you a facility by which you can search for photos. And then the final thing we need to do before we hit the import button here is we need to make sure these boxes are ticked. So we want it to build smart previews. Um, don't uh, import suspected du duplicates. That's if it's already got a copy of that. If you put a card in, you've already read it once, then you don't want it importing a second copy of it. But this is important one to tick, build smart previews. Um, and I would recommend that you build previews at the size one to one. Um, you can build the minimal and one or two other um, choices. One to one makes it longer to download the pictures into your computer, but it's really helpful when we come to the next uh, stage, which is sorting through the photos. So let's not worry too much about what this means at this stage other than to say Lightroom is going to build a little version of the photo that we can quickly view um, at a decent resolution. So having done all that, so to recap, we're telling it where to copy from, we're telling it to copy them to this location, we're telling it to organize them into date format by date, and we're telling it to also build smart previews. So when you've done all that, you click import, and off it will go and start importing them. And as you can see, slowly but surely, it grinds away. And if you've got a lot of photos to import, if you've got 2,000, 3,000 photos, and you click uh, the Build Smart Previews at one-to-one, -one, it can take a long while. It could possibly take well over an hour. So I usually, if, if it's gonna, if I've got thousands to uh, load in, then I'll set it going uh, and go off, either go to bed or go and do something else. But it's really worth taking that time to uh, uh, load them in and build the smart previews because that's going to be super useful at the next stage.